Yeah. Hello? Yes, I'm off the corner of Gorman, uh, Gilman Court and Gilman Drive. I'm homeless and, and uh, I've been living where I've been living at now for quite a while. And there are some specific San Diego police officers that know where I'm living at. I just got attacked by uh, two homeless individuals. One of them was engaging in gang signals as uh, they were approaching me. Uh, one attacked me and they're still here, but they're probably going to leave before you get here. My name is Leslie Williams. My name is Leslie Williams. I don't have the phone number. I don't know it by heart. It's a new phone. Uh, the one was Hispanic. He, they're going to take off. I have no doubt in my mind they'll take off before you. Uh, one's Hispanic. He's one's Hispanic. He's wearing uh, blue shirt, blue shorts. Uh, he's probably anywhere between 25 and 35, maybe 40. Then there's a white male. He's got tattoos over both of his arms, and I guarantee they're they're going to take off. Uh, the, uh, he's wearing, uh, I think, blue shorts, uh, some type of blue black shirt, t-shirt. They got, he's got tattoos all over his arms. He attacked me here. Uh, I couldn't see when he threatened to steal my camera. That's why he was coming to try and attack me. And uh, uh, what's that? No, but they, uh, the the uh, the one guy tried to violently uh, um, attack me. He was using these big gigantic sticks and everything. And the Mexican guy engaged in a gang signal towards me when he walked up towards me no but but uh, I got a broken arm and a broken wrist and my wrist and my arm got off uh... yes they went over into another part of the woods they're down here they down uh, him and a bunch of homeless people that these little freaks around here know they all work together okay and Now this was done intentionally. This was done intentionally to bait me to call the cops. Now we're gonna see if they say I gotta move. Uh, go, going to, uh, they, they ran in the woods going up towards uh, where Gilman Court and Gilman Drive is. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit down the road from that. Just a little bit. I'm like, I, I don't know my directions because I'm not from California. Yeah, they ran. Yeah, they ran towards the five, and they ran in an area. They're still. I have a feeling they're still here, but they're gonna probably. They're gonna probably leave. The white male, and I think he's on something. He was acting like he was running from the Mexican. I have a feeling they're on drugs or drunk or something. I think the white guy is on drugs. That's probably why he went in my camera. But the Mexican guy engaged in gang signals towards me. Well, he hurt my arm that's already broke. I was trying to defend myself. You'll see what I'm, well, the, the police officer will see. There's certain police officers that know I live here. I don't bother nobody. Okay, I don't, I'm not involved in any. I'm not a sir, I'm a ma'am. I don't have an address. I'm trying to say I'm at Gilman Court and Gilman Drive in the wooded area. No, not at all, not one bit. I got the whole thing on video. Yeah, they kept saying, uh, uh, "Give me your shit, bitch. Give me your video camera." And then, and then, that, and then the one did a gang sign right to my face. He and then he kept asking me if I know where this guy was. Uh, and I'll tell the police officers once they get here. He was way up off the cliff on the other side of the creek. I think he was running from the Mexican guy. And the Mexican guy kept asking me, "Where'd he go? Where'd he go?" As he was engaging in these gang signals. So I think that this was just a way for them to come over here to try some shit with me. I don't know if I do or not, to be totally honest with you. They can look at it while they're here, but I don't I want these guys caught. They did what they did intentionally. No. The white guy, I think I might have seen him once over at Ralph's, but the Mexican, no. And the Mexican threatened me and said he'll be back. Uh, the, he's about, he's about, I'd say he's, he's about the same height as me, maybe 5'3", anywhere between like 5'3 and 5'6", 5'7", and the, 
Oh, probably not more than 140 pounds. The white guy's big though. He's like six foot two. He probably weighs about 180. Uh, he looked like he had like a blondish, maybe a little bit reddish. I don't know. It's hard to see. He had a base. He had a baseball hat on. I'm. Yeah. The Hispanic was is the Hispanic's bald. Uh, I couldn't. I, I think it's got a little bit of white, maybe in some blue. I was busy defend. Yeah, he, he was attacking the shit. Uh, sorry about my language, but he was attacking me like you wouldn't believe. And if I didn't have my security parameter set up, he would have got to me. You'll see uh, that the police will be able to see what I'm talking about when they get here. Everything's off. Right. 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 And the and the white guy's got tattoos all over his arms. I was screaming help and everything. I even got a blow horn and I was uh, I was tooting that, and nobody came out. No neighbors. No nothing. No. My arm is already broken. I got a broken arm and a broken wrist. And when I was trying to defend myself, uh, he was he was literally trying to attack me with, I don't know, I'm looking at the piece of wood right now. It's probably at least seven feet. He was trying to attack me with a seven foot pole. I got the whole thing on camera. Now they're gonna probably take off, but I have a feeling that they've, that they've been staying up in this area now for a little while and they got a dog. Cause I keep hearing a dog. Yeah, yeah, but I keep my area completely clean. In fact, I'm preparing to move. That's what I was doing. I was literally going through my bags and tying them up so I can move myself. No, I hear, I hear the, yeah, no, I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am, but the dog's in the background and it's not up off the hill by the neighbors, it's their dog. No, I don't, to be honest with you. It sounds like a little terrier, though. Yeah, but I... Right now, I'm wearing a pair of blue jeans, uh, black shoes, white white uh, white socks, and a, um, I don't know what you want to call it, like like a greenish greenish shirt. No, I can't leave my property down in here because I got like a couple thousand. I got a thousand dollars on me in cash, and I got all my electronics and everything still in the tent. I'm only like, I'm only like, uh, probably like 65 feet off the road, directly off the road. Okay, in fact, uh, I'm, a, I'm off of Gilman Drive. Gilman Court, the parking ride is literally like, if I walked out of here, I'd be able to get to the parking ride in a minute walk. And there's also another homeless encampment that's set up right off the intersection that's right directly across the street from the park and ride. And I got assaulted right across the street from here on January 30th, 2014 by an individual, he's homeless as well. He's got a white beard. And when after he got done assaulting me, he took off and went down into that wooded area. All right. Uh, 
uh, if you, once you get on Gilman Drive and go about, if you tell him to go about 70 feet off the, where Gilman Court and Gilman Drive are, headed towards UCSD, and then stand and then walk up and down the sidewalk. I'm looking right now. I'll just I'll, as soon as I see him, I'll wave him down. I can get my compass out, but I don't know, to be honest with you. I, you want me to get my compass out? I'm across the street from those buildings where there's a bunch of apartments and kind of, it's a gated community across the street. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm close. Yeah, yeah, right, I'm on the east side, but I, I'm like a minute walk away from the corner of Gilman Court and Gilman Drive. And there's a parking ride right at the corner of Gilman Court. Yeah, yeah, that was me. Why, did somebody call? Yeah, okay, great. I was yelling help and everything. Tell me I gotta move.